my love tribe welcome welcome to sarita's intuitive love guidance my name is sarah and i'm going to be doing the daily divine masculine check and karmic partner third party check this may possibly trigger you emotionally so watch at your discretion if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one phone call or pre-recorded reading with me i'll put the information on the screen and down below and this may not resonate entirely for your situation so don't try to force it just take what does and disregard what doesn't and so let's go ahead and get started so the energy that i pull for this karmic reading is the intensity of this connection may stir up fear in someone a runner chaser dynamic may form and so i asked my cards you know what does what do we need to know for the collective in the twin flame journey currently right now there is an intensity connection that is stirring up some fear maybe in you divine femmes in the masculine in the karmic I do feel this is an energy of the masculine towards you, Divine Femmes, and you and your masculines are mirroring each other's energies. And so if you are not in communication with your masculine, there is a runner chaser energy going on and it could cause some fear and anxiety for you. You may question what's going on with our masculine. Do they still love me? Do they still care about me? I haven't heard, so I feel a little rejected, unworthy, and vice versa. You know, the energies can flip-flop for however it fits your situation. So let's go ahead and get started, see what is going on with the masculines. I am going to be doing Mr. Predicto pick a card at the end for a yes-no question. Pick a card. So let's go ahead and divide the screen for the masculine and the feminine, I mean the masculine and the karmic partner energy. Let's get their emotions, see what is going on with the masculines towards divine femmes spiritually or just what is their energy divine femmes, I mean, oh my goodness. What is divine masculine's current energy? There is an energy of the masculine feeling very irritated annoyed aggravated and bothered of the um, of the karmic I keep saying that of the karmic and so i feel like you know like flies it just it's just irritating the karmic partner is just an, an irritating fly energy and i'm not trying to say that in a mean way but it is an annoyance that the karmic is exuding could be possessive could be controlling questioning the masculine all the time, checking in on their phones, just so many annoyance energy. And do know that this karmic partner energy could be a third party of like a mother, a father figure, um, could be work. It could be their own pride and ego, their own inner child wounds that they could be irritated at themselves as to why they keep running from this connection running from divine femmes <clears throat> what else is going on with the karmic energy desperate so the karmic is feeling a little hopeless at the moment pessimistic defeated there's a lot of water energy so the uh, the karmic could be a pisces cancer scorpio doesn't have to be this gives me like a wands energy so maybe an aries leo sagittarius but this karmic is frantic feeling out of control in need in need and feeling a little hopeless i feel like if this karmic knows about you divine femmes they feel defeated by you they feel competition they feel intimidated by who you are and so they are desperately holding on to divine masculine and by this karmic holding on so tightly this karmic is losing control of the masculine and feeling like they're losing control of the situation. So they have to gain control over the masculine and be possessive and controlling um, in order to feel like they are in control. What is the mutual emotions with the masculine and karmic? What is the mutual emotions with the masculine and karmic? Ooh, okay. Grief. So there's sorrowful, heartbroken, and bereaved. There's a lot of mental anguish that this karmic and the masculine is going through. 
could feel grief of the kid situation, family situation, shame, guilt, maybe the masculine or the karmic got caught cheating and there's a lot of grief. Maybe trying to make this relationship work and mend causes a lot of grief. If it's a inner child wound trauma of a third party situation that's maybe not a karmic, the inner child wound trauma of the grief that they are feeling because maybe they weren't loved enough as a kid. Maybe they weren't told that they were good enough. And so they're going to bleed onto their next relationship and on the next. So whatever happens in your childhood will bleed onto your adulthood in your relationship. And it causes this fear, this runner chaser. You want to come towards your masculine divine femmes and love on them. And they run away from it because it's too good to be true. It's scary. Don't They don't feel worthy. And then it's like you go in the cycle. Then you hold your energy back and then they come and chase you. And then you get back in and then you're back in the same cycle over and over again. Let's see what else is the energies of the Divine Masculine Spirit. What's the energies of the Divine Masculine? I need to focus on my healing. And so this Masculine is really going through it at the moment. They want to focus on their healing. They want to work on self. And I feel like there's an annoyance here because they're going through the same. They're going through either issues with a karmic partner They're causing their own issues and irritants because they continue to stay with this person. What's the energy of the karmic spirit? I don't trust you. Hmm. So the karmic doesn't trust the divine masculine. The masculine wants to focus on their healing, wants to get better. And the karmic is like, I don't trust you. And so this karmic is desperately trying to control the masculine look at that and when you don't trust someone trust me we all been there we want to check up on them we want to see what they're doing what they're up to checking their social media it's because we get in this desperate insecure energy that makes us frantic it makes us step out of our power because we feel like it makes us feel like in control of knowing what's going on. And so the karmic is doing the same thing. And it's causing irritants on the masculine. Like swarming around this masculine like these flies on the, the horse because of insecure energy. In insecure energy. Let's just see what the masculine is feeling towards Divine Femme. Oh, I hope I will see you again sometime. And so the masculine definitely wants to see you again, Divine Femmes. I know that they may be going through a troubling situation. They may be running from this connection. But that does not mean that they don't want to see you again. Y'all are twin souls. It's not a goodbye forever. It's I'll see you later. And this masculine is trying to focus on their healing, trying to heal a situation with a karmic in a sense of closing that chapter. And so some of these masculines are stuck, don't know how to let go of this chapter because of the kids, because they're married, because of a work situation, maybe contracts are involved, scared of child support, spousal support. Let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculine on how they are feeling towards the Karmic. So we have the Fool in Reverse. And then we have Five of Pentacles. Let's see what it says. You're childlike in some ways. You still have much to learn. Worry and fear blocks positive action. Don't submit to others' rules and demands of conformity. You do not recognize the danger you are in. You are close to ruin with crazy decisions. Reckless actions and foolish choices. Your ideas are not sound and may lead to catastrophe. And that's the thing. 
the masculine is not able to make a mature decision, to make a grounded decision by leaving the karmic situation. And the masculine is still with a karmic situation because it says they still have much to learn. Karmic relations are here to teach us, to grow us, to stretch us, to make us grow. They're not there for forever. They're just there for a season. And they, this masculine is allowing worry and fear to block positive actions. And this karmic could be implanting this worry and fear and trying to manipulate the masculine to stay so they don't take positive actions for their lives to leave them. And even the angels are saying, don't submit to others' rules and demands of conformity. Stand up, divine masculines. Stand in your power. Take charge and take lead. Don't give your power away. And this it says, you do not recognize the danger you are in. You are close to ruin with crazy decisions, reckless actions, and foolish choices. And so this masculine definitely needs to step in their power and their divine masculine power because the four the five of pentacles is here could be a taurus virgo capricorn doesn't have to be it says all aspects of your life are open to disaster physical emotional and financial worry stress and insecurity possible in unemployment loss of home health problems weight gain and loss and in financial ruins, support loss from friends and family. You are at the bottom. Seek support from religion or spiritual institutions. Wow, that is really deep. This masculine is really going through it with the divine, I mean, with the, the karmic. And so if you feel this heavy energy and heaviness and anxiety, divine femmes, question yourself. Is it because something's going on in your life or is it because you are feeling the disaster and the stress and the insecurities of the masculine's physical and emotional energy. This masculine, it says you are at the bottom. They need to seek some kind of religion and maybe the masculine has found God. Maybe they're becoming more spiritual enlightened. But there's something financially, they're worried about a job. Maybe they want to leave, but they can't because of financial restraint. What is the energies of the karmic divine fem? I mean, oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I don't know why I keep saying that. Divine femmes, you must be heavy on my mind. And I feel like your energy is just coming through because I just keep saying divine femmes. What is the energy of the karmic partner on how they are feeling towards divine mask? And that wanted to flip over. Wow. Lovers in reverse. Could be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. It says inability to make a decision a bad choice is made friends move on and abandon you fighting and communication breakdown lead to infidelity and separation possible divorce a moral lapse involving temptation indiscretion and infidelity interference of in-laws the need to heal a relationship well that's deep so i feel like this this karmic knows divorce is coming and they could be trying to desperately hold on to this relationship if they are not married this if they're in a committed soul tie relationship this karmic knows it's it's coming to an end and it's come it's leading to infidelity it's leading to separation and obviously an impossible divorce wow 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 and we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, it says, lack of concentration and inability to think clearly. Your mind is racing with too many thoughts. This person could have a lot of anxiety. Um, distraction could be trying to commit suicide, trying to do whatever they can to make the masculine um, fold and conform to what they want. Intellectual rut, lack of insight, obstacles. You need to simplify your life. Unable to find work that makes you happy, frequent job changes, taking shortcuts or cheating someone will have a negative effect on your reputation. And for me, cheating someone will have a negative effect on your reputation. That's like bad karma. If you try to hurt someone intentionally, 
or try to badmouth someone or do whatever it is, it's going to have a negative effect and you're going to have to pay that karmic debt back. And it's ruining their reputation as well of who they are as a person. That's very deep. That's very deep. I really want to see what messages Divine Masculine has for you, Divine Femme. So what messages does Divine Masculine have for Divine Femmes? Not the karmic, but Divine Femmes. I got it right this time. <laughs> I am not speaking because I am in a low vibrational place right now. And I have dreams of us coming together again. So if you are having dreams of your masculine, your masculine is dreaming of you. And you could be questioning like, all of a sudden I've been dreaming about my masculine more frequently than normal. That's because your masculine is dreaming about you and y'all, you and your masculine are going on that same dream frequency. What else is going on with the divine masculine on what they're wanting to say to divine femmes? I am sorry I wasn't honest about my current relationship and situation. That was selfish of me. So some of you Divine Femmes may not have known about this karmic situation. Or maybe the masculine has not been honest with what is going on. But obviously energies don't lie and you see the turmoil in their relationship. And so the masculine may not want to communicate about that. Talk about it. Because they're shameful. They know that... They like to paint a facade or an illusion like everything's good and okay. And we don't like to talk about our downfalls. We don't like to talk about our, our breakups and heartbreak because it's embarrassing. We don't want to admit it. And so we tend to avoid it. We may avoid people. And so your masculine may be avoiding you because they're not speaking to you because they're in a low vibrational place with a karmic and they don't want to admit that to you. They don't want, to, because of their pride and their ego, to look like a failure. What else does the Divine Masculine want to say to Divine Femmes? Oh, I regret letting you go. I miss what we had. And I keep writing up a message, but I end up deleting it. And so you may have reached out to your Masculine and they want to respond, but then they delete it because they're like too shameful regretful or if you have not reached out do know they are contemplating on reaching out they just don't know what to say and it says i am sorry i ghosted you i was protecting the connection from my karmic partner and karmic partner could be their own ego their own inner child wounds family member one more energy for the divine masculines Will you ever leave your third party karmic situation? I am only with the karmic because I want children or because they have kids together. And so they're kind of questioning, well, you know, I ever leave or maybe you're in a karmic situation too, divine femmes, still married or in another relationship. And it could cause insecurities on the divine masculine, you know, where it's like, if you don't leave your, your karmic partner or third party, then... They don't want to leave theirs because in, it's codependency energies. They don't want to be stuck alone. So they need to feel like, okay, if you're going to leave, then I'll leave. Let's see what else the Divine Masculines want to say to Divine Femmes. These are what he didn't say. Channel message from the Divine Masculine by Rising Sun Oracle. And then the messages I just used is from, from Divine Guidance Tarot. What is the energies of what Divine Masons want to say to Divine Femmes? I am lost and lonely. You are not wrong to feel the energy emanating from me. Significant and necessary changes are happening in our lives. This is bringing us closer to union. Divine Femmes, you may not understand why you and your Masons are in separation. Or why your Masculine's not talking to you or not responding or not wanting to be with you. I don't know what your situation entails. But it's for the betterment of your future. This separation is a time for you to really work on self. Maybe this is stretching you in the patience department. Maybe this is stretching you to really find, you know, to heal your own inner child wounds. You know, we also, you may have mere energies of child abandonment or, 
you know, abuse that you have went through. And my heart goes out to you, divine femmes and masculines. And I know it's not easy and it could, it really affects your, your adult life and the future. So this is an energy of you and your masculines of really having to go in separation for the betterment of your future to be better. So you and your masculines don't self-sabotage the connection again. What else is going on with the Divine Masculine? What do they want to say to Divine Femmes? I am sending you loving thoughts. I hope you can feel my heart and its desire for you. I want to cover you in kisses. And I denied our connection. I withheld from you how I truly felt. I was scared to commit to you. Now I have ruined the opportunity to be with you. And this is the thing. You may feel like it makes no sense because the Masculine is running and all you wanted to do was love this masculine. But the masculine ruined it because they withheld how they truly felt. Because it was vulnerability. It, it felt too uncomfortable for the masculine to express their love for you. To feel this, their heart to expand and warm up for you. That's uncomfortable for the masculine who has been through trauma and, and dealing with not being able to emotionally open up because as a child, especially for men, they were told to man up, stop crying, don't talk about your feelings. And then when they become in a relationship, they carry that same energy in a relationship. So let's go ahead and do Mr. Predicto. See what's going on. Do you want a yes or a no answer? Then stick around. <clears throat> stick around, stick around. So let's go ahead and I'm not going to do any charms because my daughter was actually playing with them and they're not in my office at the moment. <laughs> so let's do four piles. Think of four questions you want to ask or you could just pick one question in one pile. It's going to be a yes or a no. <clears throat> if you'd like to fast forward this, you're more than welcome to fast forward it. do a timing in there you know timing is an illusion it's a man-made thing universe doesn't work on timing but sometimes we might like to know and timings can change due to free wills just want to throw that out there all right guys let's go ahead and get started so if you like to pause this video to pick a pile that you feel resonate with or four questions you want to ask all right pile number one been determined so so we got a yes so whatever indecision this masculine is in they're going to be using their intuition and coming forward because look at this i still have fantasies of our sexual connection i miss it nothing compares to it and this energy has the masculine really thinking about a commitment with you that maybe they were once an indecision but wow they've been really thinking about you heavily sexually and they want to come together and timing off for now and so it is off right now but i do feel that they have been connecting to you in the 5d realm and whatever the question you're looking for is coming it may have been off in the past but it's coming now divine femmes so pile number two it is a strong possibility Strong possibility is a strong yes. Could be a no as well, but it's a strong possibility. Um, the mask may be bringing some kind of humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of light. Be lightening up maybe. Maybe sending you a, a meme or a text message um, that's going to be funny to lighten the mood up. My energy is toxic right now. I need to go within and work on myself. 
masculine feels misunderstood, lost soul, victim mistake, and timing is off a little. So I feel like since it's a strong possibility, yes, if the masculine can really work on their energy and go within, that they're going to be able to come forward um, and, and bring this timing up. Pile number three. We got a yes. Your masculine has been feeling very lonely. I know that I am never alone and they want to, they have probably been connecting to you in the 5D realm, but I do feel like loneliness is coming and they've been spying on your accounts through fake accounts. They have been very emotional <laughs> with you. I feel they have been f affected way more than they may portray and the creating the timing. So it's coming. So whatever it is, is a yes. They are thinking about you heavily. Pile number four. Yes, it is certain. Wow, we got a yes. So service. I feel good when I can help others. I allow others and my karmic to influence my decision. This is why I struggle with leaving. Masculine energy is coming through and timing is upcoming beautiful i do feel like this masculine now wants to be of service wants to come forward i feel like they allowed in the past this karmic to influence and that's why they struggled and now there there's something here that this masculine could be stepping in their masculine energy beautiful 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 all right guys much love